Hey, what's up guys? It's Andy Elliott. Today we're going to talk about 10 ways that you know that you have the right mentor. Whether you have a mentor or you don't, mentors are extremely important to success. So this is going to be a video you're going to love. Number one, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you who my mentors are, okay? So if you follow me, if, if, if you train with me, if you don't know me, it's your first time. Guys, I want to tell you just two seconds about me. I've been selling cars for 23 years. I don't sell and I'm not an automotive dealership now, but I train dealerships for a living. I have my own training company. I fly out every week around the world and I train companies and stores. My number one goal, Andy Elliott's vision in life, is to create the top salespeople in the world, managers and GMs, okay? Specifically, I live in the role of everybody is a salesperson. Whether you're a manager, you're a GM, you're a salesperson, it doesn't matter. If you can't sell cars, you're not going to keep your position. Am I right? There's running a store and then they're selling cars. When selling cars and making grosses stop, everything else dies. So what I teach is closing, negotiations, overcoming objections, word tracks, advancing the sell forward, presenting numbers. Unlike any other salespeople in the automotive industry, which you see the way that I teach it to you, so that we're not car salesmen. We're investors and advisors. We will show our customers, our group, our niche, our circle, that we are not the old car salesmen, that everyone else is used to seeing we're different. And for those reasons, do different things, we get different results, we will have different lives. But we have to trade. We have to give everything we have and we have to make sure that we have the right mentors in our life. What does that mean? That means go into deeper waters and play with bigger fish. You guys have to find people who are better at you, better than you at certain things. So do I, and I do it every single day. You will get out of life what you put into it. And we know in this business, the more we train, the more that we push, the farther that we're going. So I want you guys to have the best life in the world. I want you all to become rich. You guys know it's a two-way street between me and you. I don't get anything unless I make you guys amazing. My goal is I want $400,000 salespeople in every single dealership around the world making money that their managers and the GMs never believe that they can make. But because we partner together and we trained hard together and we grinded together, we are already in the midst of proving that Car Sales Nation, the Elliott Group, the Andy Elliott Sales Training is changing the world. And I want to tell you something just real quick. 50,000 salespeople we hit this morning with the Elliott Group. Guys, number one, thank you. I love you and you are freaking amazing. You right now, you want to talk about mentors? We're about to go into this. Two years, my goal is to have 550. That's my goal. What's your goal? You may say, Andy, I'm making 100,000 right now. Good. I want you to make 300,000 in two years from now. Matter of fact, I'd like you to make that in six months from now. No matter where you're at, whether you're dead, broke on E, or you have nothing, a mentor will always elevate your life. So what does it look like to have a great mentor? We're going to get into these. Three things I'd like for you to do real quick. Number one, it costs nothing to team up with me. If you'd love to plug in with me every single day, if you'd love to plug into my energy, my drive, my motivation, if you go to the dealership today, you get an objection you can't handle, and you're like, man, that one sucked. Go into my Facebook group and you can go right now, go to Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. When you go to Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation, what do you do? You just join, costs nothing. You type an objection in that you have for the day, I will always answer it and teach you how to overcome it. So, free training, anything you need, and stay connected in our amazing growth and keep pushing. Go to Facebook right now, guys, type in Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. Number two, can you talk to your mentor? Whoever your mentor is in life, can you talk to them? Had a guy the other day who was like, man, I think you know, Grant Cardone's my, my mentor. I was like, okay, cool. I said, can you call him? He said, no. I said, cool. Does he teach your specific niche? You sell cars, so you're in automotive sales training. Does, does he teach that? Uh, 15 years ago. Okay, cool. So you can't call him. He teaches a niche 15 years ago that's outdated, but why is he your mentor? He goes, I don't know. You know what? I just thought about it. He kind of motivates me. And I said, I know, but is he your mentor? He said, no, not really. And I thought, you know what? What does a mentor look like? Why don't we talk about it? Let me make a video. I want to tell you how I selected my mentors. And I want to go over the 10 ways you know that you have the right mentor. And guess what? When you find the right mentor, your life will change. 
Your mentor will want to invest in you. And then lastly, guys, if you need anything as we're going through this video, send me a text, 918-210-0254. Text me. Isn't it crazy how you can send me a text message? I will always respond back within five or 10 minutes, every single time. You jump on the phone, you need to work something out, send me a text message. If I was your mentor, you could talk to me right now. I don't need to be your mentor, I just wanna tell you, you can call anytime I got your back. All right, 10 ways you know you have the right mentor. Number one, find someone you want to be like. Think about it. Find someone you wanna be like. Get a pen, get a piece of paper, write this down. Who do you wanna be like? Think about it, okay? Secondly, study the person. Who is it that you wanna be like and then spend the time studying them? Maybe they have some YouTube videos out there. I'm just kidding, that was a joke. Maybe they have something out there where you can study them. I, I watch Gary Vee a lot. Um, I, I watch David Goggins a lot. I, I watch a ton of YouTube videos of him. He doesn't have anything to do with selling cars, but he has to do with pushing yourself through hard stuff and motivation. So I study him a lot and I love him. And he is one of my mentors, I'll let that out early. But I will tell you this, I do wanna be like him as far as he never quits. Also, guess what? I've studied him. Make sure your mentor takes their own advice. You see, when I watch him suffer and he doesn't quit, and I watch him go through the suck zone, and he's breaking down and he don't quit, I know the advice that he's given me telling me, hey, when you're breaking down, you don't quit, I ain't quitting either. That's what I needed, okay? So make sure that whoever your mentor is, they're taking their own advice, okay? Make sure they have been in your shoes. Listen, I wanna tell you this. If I was raised rich, okay, and I had a lot of money, no disrespect, I think wealth is great. But I wanna tell you something, if I was raised rich and I had never been through a hard time, never been without a parent, um, you know, it's kinda of like this. If you ever walked up to somebody that just lost their husband, if you never lost your husband or your wife, and you say, hey man, I know what you're going through, I'm sorry, you, you don't know what that person's going through, okay? But if you've been through some hard stuff in life, which I can tell you a lot of stories, whoever it is that you're with, I'm not saying that they need to go through everything you've been through, but guess what? It's nice to talk to somebody who can relate what the sewer feels like if you've been in the sewer, okay? And that way they can tell you how to get out of it because they know exactly how bad it sucks. And that's important. And plus, if they've gotten themselves out of it, they probably know how to get you out of it as well as long as you're willing to listen, okay? So the willingness to share their skills, their knowledge, and their expertise, you have to have somebody that's willing to share it. You don't have to pay for everything, okay? So I always see a lot of people, they're, they're, they're mentors, but everything that you want, you have to pay for. Everything. They give nothing for free. Make sure the person's willing to share it and they're actually a genuine person, okay? They gotta have a positive attitude. Act like a role model. Obviously, fired up. You gotta have enthusiasm, massive passion. Look guys, you can tell when someone is passionate about what they do. You love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. You wanna make sure that your mentor, whatever it is that you're wanting to do or you're wanting to get out of something, make sure that they're really living that life and they love it. And you can look in their eyes and tell the difference. Whether they're just trying to make a buck or whether they're obsessed just like you wanna be, okay? That's important. All right, so let's go into value of ongoing learning and growth. They've got to make sure that they're putting out new content constantly and, co and creating, I would say, new things that help press you to the next level, okay? Sometimes it's like a baby. A baby um, gets born and then it gets milk from its mama's, right? Guess what happens? Eventually, it wants to go in the kitchen and drink a gallon of milk in the kitchen and drink out of the jug. Well, guess what happens? Sometimes you will outgrow your mentor. So who used to be your mentor, maybe no longer is your mentor. You may think, man, you know, I started at my dealership, my manager was my mentor, but you know that I thought about it? We haven't really spent any time, a long time now training. He hasn't pressed me, he hasn't done this. He's not taking his own advice. You know, I'm studying him and watching him and he's not really motivated anymore. He's not, you know, and maybe you realize that maybe I need another mentor. Maybe it's time for me to go to the jug of milk and get off the boot. Okay, so find new mentors that press you. Everything that you want in life is right on the other side of being uncomfortable. You want to be pressed. Nothing good from, comes from a comfortable environment. All right, provides guidance. This is huge. There's gotta be some guidance. 
What's the next step? What are we going to do next? This is what I want you to do. This is what we need to do. All right?